Hi everybody, Colin's number one kitchen is back. Today we are making some mackerel fish. Got the onions, garlic, uh, scotch bonnet and green peppers chopped already. Well, soon as chopped the scotch bonnet. Healthy brown rice on the boil. So we are doing this for now and I will show you the ingredients that we are going to add in a little while. Just getting this fish ready for the seasoning to come. So I will be right back. Hey guys, for the seasoning we'll be using obviously olive oil, salt, mixed herbs, fish seasoning, black pepper and everyday seasoning. You don't really want much more than that, as mackerel has its own fantastic flavour. So these extra seasons are going to help bring that flavour out and it's going to give you a smack in the mouth. So this is the fish getting on, looking good so far and I will add the seasoning in a short while. See you in a little. I'm going to season up the fish. So, a bit of black pepper. Fish seasoning. So it doesn't need a lot, the mackerel has this fantastic flavour already. Give a little bit of lemon, I don't have any fresh lemon so I'm going to use a bottle of lemon juice, just as good. And your Liam Perrins wash it for sauce. Why don't you both pour together? Hmm? Why don't you do it together? There is. And that's it for now. Actually, one more special ingredient. Oh. Yeah, a little bit of brandy. That's my brandy. Yeah. It's got a big flame in it. Okay, <laughs> And as you can see what I've done, I've turned the mackerel to get those flavours heated and cooking into the fish. Uh, the skin side you don't really need to season too tough, the seasoning and the oil as well. Um, some people like to take the skin off, I like to have the skin on personally, that's where all the vitamins and good uh, fish oils are. So yeah, and we have the rice here boiling away. Uh, right now I'm just boiling the starch, I'm going to empty this, wash the rice out and put some more water in and then re the, uh, the rice. Some people like to put the same amount of cups of rice and the same amount of water. I've realised that it still makes the rice stick sometimes, get sticky. So I like to do it my own way, which I see my dad do as well, which is boil the rice like this, get the starch out, wash it. Uh, you only half boil it, wash it and then re-boil it again, just and you go by texture. You know when it's done, you empty the water out and your rice is done. Rinse it in some cold water, that way it won't carry on cooking and you've got your perfect flaky non-sticky rice. So we will come back to this in a little while. Right, so now I have done the rice. Um, I've rinsed out the rice and I'm putting it back onto the boil. Like I said, you want to boil out the starch, half boil the rice, put it back into the water, it will help put the flame on, flame on. Boil the rice, now we're going to actually finish this off. This is the fish. 
turned over, skin side down, seasoning is now cooked onto the top. And we will take this off very shortly if the mackerel does not take long to cook at all. And then I will do the other two mackerels and start with sauce. Uh, I'll skip the video for the next two mackerels because we've seen it already for the one. And I'll show you when we start the sauce. Thank you very much, Kayla. Uh, I've got to show, rice is done. I'm now going to start putting some salt. Just a little bit of salt in the water. Also, a little bit of oil in the rice, which will also help this to not stick. Another tip I got from my dad. Put oil in the rice to help the rice not stick as well. You will see at the end of the video we'll have some lovely, flaky, non-sticky, gooey rice pudding. We'll be back. Hello again, I've never done this, I'm going to try and flame. Let's try and get some fire. We have flame. Does that not look good? This is going to help everything infuse into the fish. It's going to taste so good. It's going to burn out that strong taste of the alcohol and just leave you with the essential um, strong fragrance. And just blow the flame out. Voila! Lovely. Now we're going to start making the sauce. So we're going to chuck in the onions and all the all the ingredients I here. I just tasted the fish. I just tasted the fish now and it's excellent. You want to keep the uh, sauce that you fried the fish in before, so that's got all the flavour in it. Now we're going to add the extra ingredients. Onions first. Fry them up a little bit. As soon as, as, soon as you put the sauce on it. Once you've got the sauce that you fried the fish in, obviously that's going to have all the flavour from the fish, flavour from the brandy that we eat it, uh, all the seasons that you season the fish with. Once the sauce comes together, it's still going to have all that fishy flavour to it as well. But this is just going to add the extra warmth, you know what I mean? So, We've got these ingredients that we're... I want you to turn the heat up a little bit. Oh. Want the onions to get nice and brown crispy? Right. And then comes the rest. Mm. Can you smell it? Mm-hmm. Smell good? Yep. I need to quickly chop the scotch bonnet, which I'm going to do right now. So now I've chopped the scotch bonnet only a tiny, mini bit because it's a sauce. The um, sauce is going to be really, really flavoursome and hot. So that's that. Now we're going to add some more lemon. Oh, that smells spicy. And don't be scared to put the lemon in. You want it to taste really good. Also, you want to add some more seasonings again. Fish some seasoning. Fish seasoning. To let it get that fishy taste, so you have a fishy sauce. Your yeah, everyday seasoning. Your Liam Perrins. Open it. Your hands in the way. How does that smell, Kel? Very good. Yeah? 
yet. Mm -mm. Rice. The rice is nice and rice. the rice is nice and fluffy now. Rice is done. Fill up the flame and we'll mix this off straight away. Put it into cold water. It's got that quick, uh, cooking process. Keep your rice fluffy. The fact, what happened? Mm -hmm. okay. Hmm? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we'll come back to this. Yeah, you can. Yeah, almost. Oh. Right, now I'm just going to add in the chopped tomatoes. Doing the everywhere. And now I'm just going to mix it in. This is going to help make your sauce. Give it that, um, Nice taste. Yeah, but that's juicy taste. Yeah, that's the worst juicy taste. Now we're just doing the bread to go with it. You've got your broccoli and carrots. We are not, we are not boiling it. We are frying it today. We uh, want to get that. Uh, we kept the oils and seasonings that we've done the fish in. That's going to flavour the veg as well. But I'm going to sweeten it up with a little bit of honey. We need some... Um... There's the honey. Turn the heat up because now we want to just get this really going. Turn the heat up really, really high. Chance, but it's been frying on a low heat for a while, obviously. Get the veg soft inside. Once the veg is soft inside, you want to turn the heat right up and you want to cook the outside of that veg really quick. You want to drain off the um, excess fluid as well so it's not boiling, it's actually frying, which I did already. Oh, it smells good. Does that smell good? Mm hmm. Now I want to add a little bit of salt. Just tiny. And that's that. So once this is done, we'll come back and we shall show you the finished product. Yeah. Right people, this is the finished product. So we have our brandy grilled, flame grilled um, mackerel, our grilled vegetables, non-boiled, just want to grill it, our mountain as my daughter said, mountain brown rice, green peppers on top with your fish tomato season sauce on the side. Um, I hope Mrs. is going to enjoy this. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the music in the background. You've had some reggae and some calypso, Dominican calypso. I hope you guys like the video and have a good day, y'all. Hope you try this and uh, let me know what you think. Peace.